Today's video is sponsored by Brooke Linen. More on them later. Join me for some cozy and elegant living at home. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. The best part of winter is the feeling of coziness that we can explore at home. Today we are enjoying all the cozy feels of winter, from chic but comfortable pajamas, to my healthy blueberry muffins, to a fabulous slow cooker recipe for Thai drunken noodles. I'm also sharing secrets to regrowing orchids. Let's begin, shall we? A question I often get. Can sweatsuits be comfortable, cozy, and chic? Surprisingly, yes. I often feature rather feminine and more traditional pieces on this channel, but for those of you who enjoy a more modern look and like the sporty feel of cozy sweatpants, but don't want to look like you're wearing them, you can find beautiful ones that are actually quite chic and elegant. These are from Nay Y, who do the Barely Zero bra that I like so much. These are the boundless soft tapered pants in white swan and the matching side slit sweatshirt. Pretty and fashionable in winter white. The lining of this loungewear is so soft. I love that fashion is changing to accommodate both comfort and style. And I'm actually loving these modern looks that give a luxurious spin to traditionally casual looks. And now I have an easy yet delicious slow cooker recipe for you. Thai drunken noodles. My cousin recently spent a few months in Thailand and hearing about her adventures made me crave Thai food at home. So I found this recipe online and modified it for our family's tastes. I'll leave the recipe in the description box below. I begin by placing chopped chicken breast into my slow cooker. I add one drained can of baby corn and some sliced mushrooms. Then some green and red bell pepper and sliced onion. Time to make the sauce. In a separate bowl, I combine soy sauce, bone broth, honey, chopped garlic, and ground ginger. I whisk that together, then pour it on top of the meat and vegetable mixture. Cover this and cook on low for five hours or high for three and a half hours or until the chicken is fully cooked. Once cooked, I boil and prepare my rice noodles according to the package instructions. Then I add the drained noodles to the sauce. Toss it all together to get that delicious sauce coated on every noodle. That's why they call this Thai drunken noodles. <laughs> I add some fresh snow peas for crunchiness and torn fresh basil leaves and squeezed fresh lime juice on top, although I forgot to film that part. Time 
time to dish it up. Ah, this makes the perfect dish for a chilly winter's afternoon. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. As we are on the subject of cozy things, I'd like to introduce Brooke Lennon to you who have kindly sponsored today's video. So you've seen me feature Marlowe pillows a lot on my channel. Brooke Lennon is the sister company to Marlowe. Their best-selling luxe sateen sheets are a luxurious 480 thread count, and they have a slightly luminous finish. Their sheets are Oeco Tech certified. Instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. Brooklyn and sheets are tried and true. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews. So what you're seeing here is the Lux hardcore bundle, and I chose white but you can mix and match over 20 different colors and patterns on their website that will fit your bedroom beautifully. The website is really easy to navigate, shop for your Brooklyn and Classic or Lux Hardcore bundles from the comfort of your home. The bedding is so soft, it feels like you're sleeping on a cloud. Brooklyn is offering the Daily Connoisseur audience a special discount. You can get $20 off any order over $100 by clicking my link below and using the code CONNOISSEUR. Thank you so much to Brooklyn for sponsoring today's video. And now onto my secrets about how to regrow your orchids. I've been tracking the progress of several of my orchids that are currently going through the regrowth process, so I'll do a more in-depth video once they all rebloom. But for now, here are a few tips. Many people feel intimidated by orchids, but after successfully keeping them and regrowing them for years, I've come across a perfect method. First, you must keep the orchids out of direct sunlight, but still in a well-lit room. When I buy my orchids, I never repot them with moss, which tends to look fancy, but I find it doesn't keep them alive, and here's why. I always keep them in the container they come in, because I simply take that out of the pot and water them, allowing the water to drain through before placing it back into their decorative pot. The water draining is key. It's important to water the orchid's roots but stagnant water in the pot that sits there will kill your orchid, so I allow the water to flow through. I water them once a week like this. Every now and then, I will spray their leaves with an orchid food, but I've also successfully regrown my orchids without doing this. I find that the orchid food just makes for more magnificent reblooms. As your orchid flowers start to wilt, prune them from your orchid. And then, just as the branch starts to wither, cut it off where the brown part meets the green. Don't give up watering them because many months later, you will start to notice regrowth. It's a very rewarding process that takes consistency and patience. And for all my avid gardeners out there, it's a great way to while away the winter months by taking care of your indoor plants. And finally, what could be cozier than hot muffins on a cold winter's morning? I'm going to share a healthy blueberry muffin recipe with you. I mix together whole wheat flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and I set that aside. Then in my stand mixer, I combine the wet ingredients, which are melted coconut oil, honey, two eggs, some plain whole fat yogurt, 
and some vanilla extract. Once the wet ingredients are well blended, I mix in my dry ingredients. Then I take my blueberries and coat them in whole wheat flour so they don't sink to the bottom of the muffins, and gently fold those in. I pour this into the greased muffin tin and bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. We enjoyed these fresh, hot, healthy muffins with a pat of butter and hot coffee. My cousin was visiting when I filmed this, and she enjoyed them too. It was the perfect way to start a cozy winter's day in Southern California. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it gave you boundless cozy inspiration at home. Thank you to Brooke Linen for sponsoring. Don't forget to get a special discount of $20 off any order over $100 by clicking my link below and using my code CONNOISSEUR. Keep calm and remain classy, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.